Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here. Today I am heading off to Paris. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. It's for a hen do. Well it's for like a second hen do. So there's only three of us going because we have already had another hen do. So that's why there's not many people on this hen do but really excited for it. We are flying off from Gatwick to Paris and we have three nights there and we don't really have many plans. We're just going to explore and see where the weekend takes us. I am all packed and ready and my air Airport outfit consists of a linen shirt because it is so hot, little crop top, some white high-waisted jeans, this basket bag which is so cute from Shein, I'm so happy with it and it's actually quite flat so I can easily pack it because we don't have much luggage, we're only allowed this little bag here of luggage so this has to fit inside there as well. Then I have this little hat that I'm taking with me. I am going to be filming on my phone the whole time so hopefully the quality is all right, I just do not have enough space to bring a camera with me. My phone's normally fine though so hopefully it's good enough. And then for the bride I picked up this really cute hat which you can't see because I'm showing you in a mirror but um it says bride on it and it's so cute it's just like a real summery beach hat um and I've just got her that to wear for the trip I don't know how much she'll wear it but anyway I thought it was something nice for her to wear and it's not too like hen dewy like it's not too in your face it's just a nice little thing just to make her feel a little bit extra special so let's head to Paris Right, we have arrived in Paris, although it doesn't feel like we're in Paris at all. The flight was 35 minutes, which is lovely, but it feels like you've not gone anywhere. And then we've arrived at the hotel and it's literally in the middle of nowhere on a motorway. Um, didn't realise how far out it is. All of the public transport around is not working. So it's going to take, you can walk in, it's like two hours walk, or you can get on public transport, which is like, what did you say? About an hour altogether, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to um, go to a new hotel tomorrow. <laughs> Because we just want to be in a city centre, it's not worth it. So we're finding a hotel, oh, we're finding a restaurant now for something to eat because it's quite late and we're hungry. We've made it to our new hotel. Here it is. It's nice. Um, and it's in the centre of Paris, which is nice. We have a little bit of a view out the window as well. Why is there a bottle out there? Did you put that there? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ignore the bottle. <laughs> Shoved in a plant. Oh, is that watering it? Okay, fair enough. Oh, you can see over there, that's the Eif top of the Eiffel Tower's like light thing spinning around. But you can't actually see the Eiffel Tower. But this is a lot better than the view that we had at the last place, which was basically an industrial site. Good morning guys, sorry I went to sleep last night and I didn't even bother vlogging. We just were really tired, we got to our new hotel and then we were like, do you know what, we can't bother to go out now. It's about 12 o'clock by then, maybe quarter to 12, so it's a bit like, it's a bit too late now to get sorted and go out, so let's just have a cup of tea and go to bed. So that's what we did and now we're feeling nice and fresh this morning. I'll show you my bed. This was my bed for last night, which was actually all right. Although I'm going to take this cushion away tonight because it made the bed too short. My feet were hanging off the end. Um, I'm just doing all of my makeup this morning. And then this is the window outside, which is so lovely to have this window. And you can open it right up as well, which is really nice. And then that's the morning view. So I think the plan is for this morning, finish getting ready. And then we're going to go and find some breakfast, hoping to find a nice, fresh bakery breakfast place with a view of the Eiffel Tower to have coffee and croissants this morning. That is all that I want to do. With her, I can see that, that you miss me.
are currently at the Arc de Triomphe, or however you say it, with some nice yogurt. It's so lovely here, it's really nice and warm. Um, this yogurt is well good. Are they running out of the picture? <laughs> You're still in it! <laughs> McDonald's in Paris looks so cool. It even has music. That's crazy. Ready for our night out. It's golden hour. <laughs> Claire's dress is a bride. Beautiful bride. It's very, very glowy. Oh my god, look at my eyelids. They do have voices. First time trying a snail. I don't like it. It's all right. No, it's not tasty. Ordinary. morning this is the reality of waking up after a night out in Paris I don't even know what footage to film last night I don't think it was that much because it was actually quite hard to find somewhere to go because we really didn't know where we were going but um we went to like a nightclub for a bit but it wasn't really our music and we wandered around um and we got some more food and yeah came back and crashed out and now god I need a shower Needs to get sorted. It's a good one. Right, got all sorted now, feeling a little bit better, and we're just at breakfast. Um, we are at this place, having American breakfast. How are you feeling this morning? Great. <laughs> <laughs> it's still very awkward about the whole camera thing. And um, we're going to try and go to Stranger Things a bit later on after breakfast. So we'll take you along there. Just got out of Stranger Things and it was so good. Bought myself a little t-shirt. It's just got the Stranger Things logo on it. And I thought it'd make a really nice nighty. But it was just so good in there, I loved it. Walked all the way down the riverbank, and it's pretty much about an hour. 
and it's really hot but it's lovely just to walk down here it's so beautiful and we're gonna try and book one of these river boats for the evening tonight for dinner but it's just so hot and I can't figure out how we do anything um, but yeah we're gonna hopefully book one for tonight or maybe for lunch tomorrow and then you just go on the boat down the river and I'm thinking that we'll be able to see the Eiffel Tower at night glittering and yeah so hopefully we'll be able to do that but it's just been such a lovely day it's just very very hot today but it's nice Been really bad with vlogging and start and finish for each day but it's now the last day and we're heading off to the riverboat cruise we've booked a lunchtime one which will be really nice and then we've got to get our flight about eight o'clock tonight so we have got a whole day today so hopefully the riverboat cruise is nice i'm not feeling that fresh this morning though a bit of a headache this is me at home now it all went a little bit wrong when we were trying to get home this is the next day I got home about 4 30 in the morning last night so today um feeling a little bit tired living on the Isle of Wight can be a real issue when you just want to get home um so we got on our flight was our flight was already did no our flight got delayed and then when we got on the plane we were sat on it for ages. It wasn't going anywhere. Then they said there was a technical fault with the plane. And then obviously that just sends me into absolute panic mode. And I felt really anxious. I'm already a little bit of a nervous flyer. It never stops me flying, but I don't love it. But yeah, last night I hated it. Um, the flight is actually so quick from Gatwick to Paris. It's like about 40 minutes. It's really quick. Um, but yeah, they said the technical fault. Then we were sat on the plane for ages and we were looking because we were getting the train from Gatwick back to Portsmouth to get on the ferry home. Um, so we kept checking the times to like see if we were going to make the train. Then we thought we might get an another train. But because we were in there so long, we just realised that we missed one train, then another train just kept missing them. And then we thought, it's okay, we'll get there. We'll forget about the train. We'll just get a taxi out of the airport and get back down to that ferry and get on the last ferry. And we tried to do that. We ran through the airport to get to the taxi rank. When I got there, they were like, oh, well, no, you've got to wait for a taxi. So we had to wait about 20 minutes, which was, that just did it because we missed our ferry by 15 minutes. So 
Had we have not had to wait for a taxi, we would have got back. But anyway, missed that. So we ended up hanging around for quite a few hours through the night and then got on a three o'clock in the morning ferry. So that was fun, which is why I kind of stopped vlogging because we were just like stressing out, trying to get home really tired. It's like, it's not really great vlog footage. Obviously I've showed you all of Paris anyway, but yeah, we're back home. We had an absolutely amazing trip. I really hope you have enjoyed watching the video. I've got my Stranger Things top on. Honestly, I love it so much. That Stranger Things experience was really good. And also the riverboat cruise that we did yesterday was the best thing we did i think it was really good so if you're going to paris i'd really recommend going on one of those lunch or dinner cruises they're lovely and like really good value as well because you get a whole three course meal you get wine um water and it was something like around about 55 pounds including a two hour cruise so we thought that was really good so that was definitely a highlight but yeah i hope that the footage all comes together i just need to go and edit it now but yeah i hope it all comes together and you've enjoyed coming along with us and you saw a little bit of my friends claire and zoe they're definitely a little bit camera shy so they didn't really want to be on camera which is obviously fair enough um, i tried to catch them just a little bit but yeah i hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video Bye.